Sometimes when you're looking for everybody else, you end up running into and finding yourself. Keep watching to find out what that has to do with today's book. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denanyo. You are watching Vlogmas 2022, where I am reviewing an Eric Drum Dickey book every single day for 12 days. And today's book is called Finding Gideon. So this book is written by Eric Drum Dickey. Again, I'm going through 12 of his books. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller. Y'all. I've read it before. I've, I've read it like five times. And I'm reading it and I'm like, I'm so sorry, Gideon, I'm gonna miss you. Cause I know there's no more. So in Finding Gideon, Eric Jerome Dickey takes a departure from what he typically does in the prior books. Yes, it's about Gideon, but we get to see the point of view from other characters. And that is my favorite thing about this book. So we've been tracking Gideon ever since he slept with strangers, woke with enemies, was dying for revenge, resurrected midnight, and now he's finding himself, right? And so in every single book, we get to see Gideon, how he feels, what he's going through, why these things are a big deal. He meets people, he loves people, he gets rejected by people, all of it. We're right along with him. Finding Gideon is the first book where we get to hear from one of the other assassins chasing down Gideon. And not Midi Noche, we get to hear from Preacher. We get to hear about Shotgun. Gideon is 28, 29 years old. He's never had a best friend. He and his mother have moved and been on the run his entire life, right? He finally gets a best friend. Alvin Shotgun White <laughs> is his best friend. And then Scamzito. We can't stand scams. And if you've been listening to the other book reviews or if you've read the series, you understand why. We don't like Scamzito, but we get to see his perspective when he's out on the yacht, right? And so this is the first time Eric Drum Dickey has given us a background behind the scenes look at other characters. And that was so brilliant for this book because all of these people have a tie to Gideon. And as he's finding himself, as he's learning things about himself, you get to see what they think about Gideon. So it's really important that we get to see these other perspectives because you get to see the respect that Media Noche has for Gideon. You get to see how much hatred Scamzito has for Gideon, how much loathing Preacher has for Gideon and the love that Shotgun has for Gideon, right? It's very rare that we get to see the other side and get to see what other people in his circle are feeling. And I absolutely love that, okay? Now I will say another cool thing, get a good look. What does she got to do with finding Gideon? Well, conspiracy theory. The entire Gideon series is him trying to hunt down and kill one woman. Okay, I'm not saying nothing else. One woman. And I think that's the woman that's in the book because I think when Gideon discovers the roots of this one person, it will expound upon everything else in his life, okay? You gotta read the book to understand that. But I do think that seeing these different perspectives, seeing how many different emotions Gideon evokes out of different people is really important as he is finding himself, right? All he knows is the stories that his mom has told him. You know, your dad used to fight bulls with his bare hands and jump out of planes. So he's like, okay, I know that, I know that, I know that but who is he? And so we always go through point number seven, which is what I reread the book Finding Gideon. Yes, yes I would. But I will say this time felt a lot different because I have read all 12 of these novels within the last five, five or nine weeks, right? They've been back to back to back. So I'm like really, really caught up on it. And so I'm gonna show you the years of every single book that came out. Cause I always read the acknowledgements. It's one of my favorite things. And Eric Drum Dickey tells you where he is when he finishes his last edit, puts his last stamp on it. Sleeping with Strangers, 2007. Waking with Enemies, 2007. Dying for Revenge, 2008. Resurrecting Midnight, 2009. Finding Gideon, 2017. I could not have waited eight years for this book. I could not. I wonder if he had told people there was gonna be another one because the way that Resurrecting Midnight ended, you hope there was another one, but there didn't have to be. Man, people waited eight years or they were surprised when it came out or the book was released and then you found out there were four prior books, right? So, ugh, ugh. 
Incredible, incredible, incredible. So thank you for hanging out with me. We are rolling right along in Vlogmas 2022. So let me know, have you read any of these books? If you've watched the book reviews, have I inspired you to pick up any of the books, to go to the library and get them, to download an audiobook, to listen? And if you're enjoying the book reviews, please give this video a thumbs up. That really does help YouTube share it with a broader audience, okay? So until next time, I will see you on Kyla's reading day. Bye.